What is up, people? Welcome back to another episode of OmniFactory. I hope everybody's doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. And uh, in between episodes, I did upgrade to the Bountiful upgrade update. Update, upgrade to the Bountiful update or update to the Bountiful update. But yeah, so we've got the Bounty board, but I don't really see myself doing any of those. Like, I don't need material or stuff. Maybe in the future, if we do need, we'll look into this. Uh, but mainly is you exchange, like, let's say here, electric motors for 45 pennies. But you get, like, a certain amount of time to do it. So you kind of need to keep a bunch of items on like yourself so you can just like go grab them and trade them for the thing but uh, yeah so at the moment i don't really need anything so we're just gonna leave it be holy moly i didn't think okay um yeah i was looking into this to get fluoride <laughs> but i didn't think it was gonna make that many uh i guess we're gonna put that there because there's gonna be a lot of it <laughs> So yeah, I've been uh, looking a little bit more into uh, what are the next step. And uh, also today we're going to look a little bit back about in the uh, in the things that I did in the last episode and probably what we can do better. Uh, because of course it wasn't the best thing in the world. Uh, it was just my first way of seeing something and I'm like, I gotta do it. So, for, first of all, uh, let's go up here, and as you can see, there's this that I've installed. Uh, yes, uh, because this thing's only producing three, 380, uh, but it's the one that can do 2,000. The only reason I can do it after the update is because I already had signal. <laughs> uh, but those uh, were not able to do enough power for what we wanted to do. So, I ended up making these here uh pretty much they work again on sugar cane still not at full capacity on the sugar cane i went in the other dimension it's still fine uh also i doubled in the machine so home machine i did say that i doubled the number of uh, ender pill that is being treated to make the liquid and this actually really helped the situation over here so if we go over here at the top so now I've got two of these. It's now the point that this thing here is the part that is bottlenecking. Uh, but I don't mind because we're able to keep up and this thing's been producing quite enough of material that I really, really don't mind. But as you can see here, like things aren't like crazy. Like sometimes they don't trigger. Uh, that means like we can still add more machine connected to our, uh, to our farms. Uh, and today, what are we going to do? Well, farms, <laughs> so just not sugarcane farms. Um, well, all right, so let's go at the bottom and let's see what I'm talking about when we think of this. So first of all, this here to make methane, uh, methanol, it, it's a bad thing. So the biomass and the fermented biomass, you don't need those. And I looked into it and fermented biomass, I don't even think I need it. Uh, I think there's better ways to get anything that you can get from there. And biomass, uh, I don't know why I'm continuing to do it because pretty much the thing you want to make from it is ethanol and that's it. So I think I might just like use this, send it to the side, get rid of all of this and maybe use them for something else. Uh, but over here, this is my setup to actually make methanol. Uh, so it's oxygen and hydrogen plus carbon. And uh, it's chemical reactor. I think it's in the last page or something. No. Uh, no. Oh, there it is. All right, so it make a thousand for four thousand and one thousand. And what I'm doing, which is kind of a bad thing, I should connect, I should remove this and connect this to the system. Then that's pretty much one of the things I need to do. And uh, this thing here with water, I've got four of them and they produce uh, I oxygen and hydrogen. And over here, we've got the carbon being made and this makes it enough, but I've also stopped making rocket fuel because I've got 10 million already, uh, but it's just like a click. I just need to click this and it starts over again. So there's a bunch of things that are not running like over here, like the chloramine. It's also uh, something that I've got a lot, so I'm not really touching it. 
uh, this is the thing I'm needing, like, hydrogen. So that's why I'm saying, like, at the moment, I'm just destroying the hydrogen that is extra. But it's not a good thing. Also, for sodium, uh, I've decided to put it into a mixer to make salt water. Because the salt water is going to give you the same amount that two uh, of these would. And this one's going to give you sodium. While this one here will give you sodium hydroxide dust. Which when you turn into a dust, you're going to be able to use it with uh, what we're going to work in today. Canola oil to make biodiesel. So that's kind of the next step pretty much. Uh, to get the biodiesel. And of course there's glycerol. Which... You're, you're going to get as well. And this thing, well, we're going to be able to uh, use it with other things, like maybe to get uh, uh, I pitch low row hydrin. Uh, and I think this one, yeah, it's used to make epoxy. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're, they're useful for everything. And the hypochloric acid, hypochloric acid, we've got like about a million over here. Uh, but I'm not sure if I'm making any more of it. Uh, but this one's been running like crazy because this one is like an important one. So if we look over here, I've got the 6,351 of that dust. If we remember, this one is to make the silicone rubber. Uh, that is going to be used to make this and then turn to this and then use the assembler for the SMD capacitor. Uh, I did look at the quest. And uh, as you can see, they changed the, the, the coins are no longer there. Now the recipes. Uh, but yeah, in the early game, uh, we kind of need to uh, get ourselves into the polyvinyl clo chloride. It's going to be kind of important for us to get this one as well. But the thing is, I need more chlorine, so I need more salt. So I'm kind of waiting a little bit into this and we're going to get into the mid game uh, today. So we get the sodium hydroxide, like I said, and the next step is for us to make a canola press. So let's see into making a canola press. It shouldn't be too complicated. So I've got it over here and uh, pretty much it needs an advanced coil. Seriously, I don't have those. Uh, inner, here we go, let's put three in there. Do I have some in there? No, I do not. Uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. This thing's quite fast. Uh, I was thinking I do need to change all of my machines. Uh, not to the fact that like, oh, I want to remove LV. Just because I'm tired of uh, like running between floors and like having different power to go through. And I think that all these machines could easily be just replaced by MV machines. And it would remove the LV component into my things. And when we make LV, uh, LV circuits, they're only going to be used for, uh, like, let's say, making the programmable chips, for making blast furnace, and for making the things that, like, really need it, like these. And the machines won't really require us to do any of those. Uh, I do not know how many canola press I'm going to need. So for now, we're just going to make one, and we're going to look a little bit at how it handles things. So first of all, this thing needs power. And then you need to get canola in there. I don't have canola in here, so it's probably in there. Yeah, so I've got canola in here. Can you make seeds from this? Yes, so let's not use too many. I just want to see the speed of this thing and how it, can, it, it reacts. So it's really fast and it makes 80 per, per this. Okay, so the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and see how much one of those use. So one of those use will use 1050. So it isn't bad at all. My plan for today was to make nine farmers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And boom. Uh, oh, did I put those away? Where did I put those? There they are. <laughs> I, I kind of prepared. This time, I came prepared. So let's put this away. Let's get ourselves uh, some seeds. Do I not have any seed? Oh, there they are. One, two, three. Perfect. And this is going to go there. So let's do bam. Nine beautiful little farmers. So farmers are going to be powered, of course. And uh, they will probably be powered by a magmatic dynamo. Uh, just because it's 
easy, convenient. Uh, over here, I decided to make another change. So it's not as efficient, but if I get some bone meal, I can show you. A stupid chicken. Uh, I think I'm going to kill the chicken. <laughs> so let's get some bone meal. All right. So there is kind of an issue with uh, rubber trees. And there's a reason why I use rubber trees over here. And I'm going to show you. So rubber wood can be used in centrifuge to get all of these things. So you're going to get carbon, wood pulp, plants, sticky resin, and methane. So methane is going to be used uh, to make other things. Like you can do a couple of things with it, like chloroform. I don't know if I need to, you know, seduce anyone, but uh, yeah. So the thing is, when you put something in this range, there's some parts of the trees that don't grow, uh, that don't, that can't grow. So that means that it needs a lot more of this bone meal to grow a tree. So you're going to see now it makes a tree and there we go. It works. It gets picked up, sent at the bottom, but sometimes it's going to do a tree that has one piece of wood. As you can see, it just broke there. Uh, that places itself like on the side. So my breaker at the top wasn't able to break it. The thing I noticed is it's always on the same level. So what I did is I did eight breakers over here and I could have made three and just do a side. But let me just show you uh, one thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one. So you saw it, it worked quite well uh, to do this. But now I've got this block here. So you're going to see this thing uses a crazy amount of bone meal and it can't do it. As soon as I remove this, it's now like super quick. Well, sometimes it's slow as well because it tries to find uh, possibilities. But it's a lot quicker than when there's the block inside. So that's why this little system kind of works. Uh, I kind of wish now that I had a bunch of bone meal just to make this like working all the time. But it's not what we have at the moment. All right, so over here, if you remember, we got our potato farm. Uh, it's not been working. But the step now is going to make like a 10 high uh, farm that's just going to have canola on it. And this is going to thing that's going to make a canola for us. So I'm not sure if I'm going to place it here. I'm thinking about maybe putting it completely to the other side of the base. And uh, this is a 9x9, nine nine, so maybe we'll do a beautiful little design to it. But let me install all this, and then we're going to see uh, how quick we need, or how many we need canola press. Because that's pretty much the next step. Okay, guys, so first of all, I kind of want to apologize, even if it's not my fault. Uh, there is an issue with one of the mod currently in the pack, that as you can see, every like couple of blocks that I moved, I'm getting like lag spikes. And uh, it's supposed to be like password uh, library. They changed something really big on it, and it kind of make it uh, it, it made it uh, freak out. Uh, so at the moment, I've got one. I've also got another one because I thought I could, uh, you know, change the canola seeds. But turns out it's a fluid extractor for seed oil, uh, and this one's probably going to be used for lubricant, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, so just connected here. I did 10 layers. I used the farmer that we have over there to put it here. Uh, there's one piece of water and then glowstone over it to light up the farm. And this thing seems to be working. It's not that impressive, but eh, it does the trick. It does the trick. It's what we want. So if we look at canola oil, oops, it's one L. Uh, the next step is pretty much to get like ethanol or canola oil to it. So, uh, over here you saw that I passed this, which I'm going to fix because I want to pass these instead, the ME conduits. Just because they can, uh, you know, stack with other conduits, like the, the power one. So that's why I want to pass these. But in my inventory I've got a couple of things, uh, especially no space. But over here what I want to do is simply put a storage bus here and you cannot connect it with the ME conduit that that is the only thing so you're going to use one of the conduits like this and then you're going to be able to connect uh, this one to the conduits and this is the way I'm going to do this so first of all let's break these 
Uh, so we're going to do this here. All right. And then uh, let, let's not connect it straight away. But over here, as you can see, we've got the canola oil transferred with the ender tanks. And uh, I completely forgot to make the machine that we're actually going to need. I really hate that lag. It's it's one of my pet peeve. I hate when things don't work the way they're supposed to work. Uh, but it's a chemical reactor. I think I've got one for the uh, this here. Oh, it's an electrolyzer. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have to make a chemical unless I've got one. I do remember like I I, I had too many machines. We've got a compressor. Uh, not on this one. On you? No, I've got tanks. All right. So, uh, chemical. Not a bat. It's a chemical reactor. Perfect. Let's go all the way down. And we're going to place that right here. So. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna extract this. I don't think this thing extracts on its own. Yeah, it doesn't extract on its own. So that means we're gonna have to put an, this there. So there we go. Now we're getting the canola oil on there. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you don't need to see the sign. And like, if we wanted, we could like bottleneck it ourselves by just doing like something like this. So it's going to get 100 millibucket every second. So it's not a lot. So it's going to bottleneck for the ethanol. So, all right. Next thing we're going to do is over here. What we're going to put is the fluid interface. So I'm going to put the fluid interface right there. And I think uh, what I can do is this. And then this is the one we're going to have over here. So now we can connect these. The thing is, I'm not sure I've got enough power in my system for uh, connecting all these E machine. I might need more. But all right, so let's see. All right, so as you can see, there's 4,000 over there. And I think you can even orient these. No, okay, you can't. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one more of these upgrades. These upgrades are amazing, but uh, these pumps. All right, so we're gonna do this. Uh, what do I have in there? Oh, it's this. There we go. And uh, let's grab this screwdriver. To do import instead and this one also i'm gonna bottleneck it because i feel that it's gonna grab all the ethanol all right so now we've got this so the next step is to take uh, the other upgrade we have here put it on top do this import but oh wait actually no 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 wait where's my crescent why is it there? This is not what goes there. We need the advanced unpacker. So this needs a one of these. And the thing that we're going to unpack is this bad boy over here. Uh, maybe I'm going to do one thing. Oh my God, this inventory. <laughs> Okay, now, now we can play a little bit in our inventory. Uh, maybe, no, I like to keep this one. Uh, perfect. Okay, so we got this. Uh, we got one of those. So what we're going to do is do this. Do that. Do this. Uh, Oh, cool. I've got a filter. Yeah, because I had this. All right. So this thing's going to insert. So it's going to start putting those there. I'm going to put those back after. Uh, well, let's do it now. We're here. 
There we go. Now let's go back down. And so these, as you can see, they're starting to get a lot of things. That's perfect. So now we're going to put this one over here, hit it, import, and we're going to put uh, this there. So now this thing's going to go there, but in the unpacker, it needs to have one set to one. All right. And then we need to connect this. So I, I thought about connecting this side, but I think I'm going to connect this one. So it's pretty much just going to pass here in the middle and go there. Uh, cables. So this one, we need three. Boom, boom, and boom. So yeah, th this thing's a little bit quick. Uh, we're going to hit this and say you can go out. Um, like I said, I don't need this to go crazy fast for the moment. I don't have any use for any of these, but they're going to be useful. That's the thing. Uh, the other stuff that gets really cool with this setup is this. So let's go to the top and interfaces for liquid are really cheap. Like, you need an electronic pump, and I'm not sure. I've got three left. It's good. I need two. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to need more. Uh, oh, dang it. <laughs> dang it. Okay, so... Yeah, we need more pumps, so we need this. Eh, let's just use the knife. And then let's repair the, the, okay, so, yeah, oh no, this one doesn't have a, doesn't have mending, not on a flint knife. Okay, let's do this again, <laughs> and bam, perfect. Oh wait, is there like another recipe? Yeah, there is one here. Okay, is it like cheaper? Uh, but it doesn't need the tools, so it's pretty cool. But it needs six things, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, uh, maybe it does use... Uh, yeah, it's the same amount, it just doesn't need the tool. So we'll do this eventually, but for now it's just a screwdriver and a wrench, which I kind of have in me. There we go, we, we made three more. Uh, I don't know how many I can make, these are materials that I just do like ten at a time. So, alright. Uh, let's make one. Seriously? Oh, all right. Uh, wrench. One, two, three, four. I can't click fast enough. 32. All right. Now we're going to need like two more, maybe one more. Uh, yeah, and then these, we're going to change them into fluid storage. And then in the cables, we're going to take two of these and a couple more of these. Go at the bottom. And over here, we're going to connect these. Oops, not like that. So, I'm not sure, maybe I can just do that. Alright, so this thing's gonna have a thousand priority. And it's gonna... Put that one back. Let's grab one glycerol. Oh, I didn't even know it was a... It was a thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to take two of these and we're going to have storage over there for glycerol. So this thing can go there and then we're going to take one of biodiesel. So yeah, I think we're really bottlenecking too much on the ethanol. <laughs> like, I don't know how much I produce, but I know that it should be a tiny bit more than this. And pff, I don't really care. All right, so boom. 
So this thing is going to do this. And then we're going to hit this down and say, I'll put the liquid. Will it work? No. Dang it. I thought it would. Okay, maybe it's the idea that I had that this doesn't pass through. So let's do the connection that way. It still doesn't output into it, which is kind of weird. I would have thought. So let's put you here. Oh no, I broke this. Was there glycerol in it? I don't think there was. Oh, I think maybe there was. <laughs> Dope! Okay, so let's do this. Put again this thing here, just up this so that it, if I put a system at the top, it's not going to go in there. That's the reason why I'm doing this. Uh, we're going to put this here, that there. And now these two are great, but this one's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, OCD. And then we're simply going to connect this to there, which is stupid. Stupid. Uh, no, we're not going to do that just because I don't want to have a cable in nowhere. So we're going to use a tank. To go from there. No, not, not, no, no, no. Pull. All right, so it's going to pull. I hope it's going to pull fast enough. I don't think it's going to pull fast enough. Dang it! Why do my ideas always not work? <laughs> so I guess it's going to be a freaking cable. Stupid cable. I'm going to have to put the something on top of it. But all right, we're going to use you. Uh, no, you, you don't need. Uh, this thing's going to answer. This thing's going to export. And there we go. So now it should start putting liquid in there. It, of course, there's a bunch that needs to be done. But there we go. Glycerol. This thing has canola oil. There we go. And it is. It's pretty good, except the floor that is all broken and everything. But that also means that now I can probably put uh, storage upgrades on all of these. And that means that we're going to be able to access it straight from an interface when we're at the base. And if we want, what we can do is have an interface with the liquid and just pump the liquid into ender tanks and use the ender tank to go somewhere else. But that is really awesome. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's just clean clean this up a little bit because I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> yeah, cleaning things up. That's something I should do more often. But yeah, this thing's probably going to have... Uh, we go at the top and we do conduit. This... Can you, can you even do like one of these? Will it do a double or a single? I hope it doesn't do a single. Oh, it does a single. Dang it. That, that might have been the, the place where things won't work. Yep. <laughs> Dang it. Stupid cables. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy, even though uh, the stupid cables. Uh, but yeah, now we're getting really somewhere because biodiesel is going to be useful to actually make diesel generators. So we're going to be able to make diesel generators and use those to power things instead of just using these. Because these are kind of getting to the point where we can't really push them further. So that is awesome. But that is also going to be it for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you know what this lag is and how I can fix it, let me know in the comment section below. But this is going to be it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.